Hi and welcome to the Windows Process Injection Fundamental course here on Pentester Academy. My name is Pavel and I'll be your guide throughout this course. This course will start with a brief introduction where we see the goals, the prerequisites and what are we going to do in this course. Then we'll discuss process fundamentals and see what are processes, how can we view information about processes so we have a better understanding of processes before we go into actual injection. Next we're going to look at process enumeration, how can we locate processes on a Windows system. Then we're going to go ahead and look at various injection techniques that allow us to inject code into existing or new processes. A little bit about me, uh, so I'm Pavel, I'm a developer, I'm a trainer, author and a speaker sometimes. I've wrote a few books, you can see some of them uh, here. I have uh, several open source tools in my GitHub repository and you can find more information just by googling or going to my website. So we'll start with introduction to the course. So the idea of the course is to understand process fundamentals, to see how to enumerate processes and then to see some techniques of injecting code into another process from the point of view of an attacker. An attacker wants to, to penetrate some system, to have some stealth, be able to get information, do some other things and so we want to see how can that be done using code injection. This can be used to test a company's security products to see whether they can detect these kinds of injections. This course is focused on user mode mechanisms only, so we will not look at kernel mechanisms for code injection. We're also not going to cover every possible technique. There are many techniques. You can find more of them on the web. However, we'll focus on some of the main ones that should give you a, a good understanding of how these things work and can give you good ideas of how to create your own code injection techniques or understand other more complex techniques that you can find around the web. So I expect you as the viewer of this course to be either a security researcher with interest in writing some your own custom code for uh, code injection uh, developers, of course, whether you are a blue team or red team, you need to know how to work with these APIs and what is possible. Depending on what your role is, you want to be able to look at both sides of the attacker and of the defender. And generally, anyone that wants to gain a deeper understanding of process injection and see some techniques in code, this is definitely the course for you. Now, we will be using code. And so I expect you to have a good familiarity with the C language because the Windows APIs are mostly in C. We will be using some small amounts of C++ to simplify some code examples, but it's not going to be something uh, very difficult. I do expect you to have some acquaintance with the Windows API and basic understanding of Windows in terms of processes basics, threads basics, a little bit about virtual memory. We will be discussing some of these topics in the first module, but of course we're going to do that uh, fairly quickly and it's not the same as having uh, a proper training or reading a, a good book about these things. However, we should have all the fundamentals covered in this course. You should also have a basic familiarity with Visual Studio, which we'll use to write and test our code. Technically, we can use any code editor that you want and even any C++ compliant compiler that runs on Windows that you want, but Visual Studio is, is fairly common and you can use the free community edition uh, with no cost and you can try all the things that we're going to show you in this course without any issues. So in the next video, we'll go ahead and start with our first module discussing process fundamentals.